I'm Professor Gold. I'm a professor in the Health Sciences and Exercise Sciences program. This course in particular is our Exercise and Sports Studies class called Exercise Testing and Prescription. So if you are coaching, if you are exercise science, or if you are strength and conditioning, or if you are health science, you're gonna take this class. For the past four falls, we have elicited volunteers from faculty and staff to see if they would be willing to work one-on-one -on -one with students throughout the semester. So in the course, what they're doing is they're learning how to assess fitness and the various parameters of fitness. Why do you do three sets of 10 instead of two sets of five? Okay, that's what they know now. They know why. So we have cardio respiratory fitness, we have muscular strength and endurance, we have flexibility, we have body composition. So the students work through each of those throughout the semester. They learn the material in class, they practice how to do the assessments in class, and then they work one-on-one -on -one with their faculty or staff volunteer to have a real life person in order to practice that skill and, and, and that knowledge. And then they put it all together in order to write an exercise program to either maintain or improve their fitness in those different levels. Having a license can be real life problem, you know, like they may have may not have a good day or like something might be bothering them, so yeah, they, you just have to adjust it to make them comfortable. They are invariably nervous as heck at first. After that first meeting, they, they calm down and by the end of the semester, they're confidence has grown so much and they know that they're one step further to being in the fitness or health profession next year. I know this class also helped us prepare um, especially because again a lot of us are going into coaching, AT, PT, anything like that um, it helps us work with clients. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really important thing that you know yeah we can get our programs together we can get them you know trying to get them fit and everything but we also have to be willing to listen to our clients. We have to be willing to give them positive reinforcement and understanding of them. Sometimes, you know, they might backtrack a couple steps and that's fine. We're really a hands-on department. We love the active learning. We don't have a lot of classes, honestly, that just sit and listen. Students are actively involved in their learning. They're putting those skills into practice. They're figuring out ways the body moves, not just in picture and in verbally, but how the body moves in the real world. So. We have a lot of that. In, in a big school, if I had 100, 150, 200 students, there's no way this would happen. But with somewhere between 15 and 20 students in the class, it's, it's perfect. And we're, we've been blessed every year to have exactly the number of faculty volunteers that we need to match one-on-one -on -one with the students. Volunteer next time, for sure. I'm going to be asking every spring.